I am Samyukta and I am doing my second year industrial biotechnology in Anna University. And I was always interested to do a course in immunology and I didn't find much courses online. And my friend suggested about this NPTEL courses and I went through. And I started doing this in the quarantine and actually I started because I was bored and I wasn't intended to write the exam. But during the course uh, I really enjoyed and I felt it was easy to understand and it was explained better with examples so I think I benefited well from the course and I'm thinking of doing much uh, in immunology. Thank you. My name is Harish. Uh, I am studying uh, architecture in uh, SAP in Anna University. Yeah, this course is very useful. Uh, like uh, I chosen uh, uh, the soft skills and communication. Uh, it's very useful for uh, future uh, and uh, the like uh, soft skills and communication is important in every field. No, it's a, it's a, I'm a doctor. It's a very good course. Uh, it will definitely increase your uh, ability to do uh, further courses. And uh, I think everybody should appreciate the effort taken by NPTEL and SWIM. And we have to upgrade ourselves. So this should be a regular course. I think it can be digitally made into a regular course also. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, I'm Dr. Siddhartha Nagaradi. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist, did my MCH in reproductive medicine and surgery. So I'm working as an assistant professor in uh, Sri Ramachandra Institute of Higher Education and Research for the past five years. Yeah, this example, because being in the institutes, uh, we require a lot of uh, knowledge to do research. Not that people don't want to do research, but they don't have the required knowledge and how to approach uh, the protocol of research. So. This will uh, create a lot of uh, what you call uh, the threshold will be very high for them to go to the research because they don't know these basics and uh, definitely that would not be the time for them uh, to sit learning because they'll be busy in their regular day to day practice. This course will enhance uh, the opportunity because sitting uh, in their own uh, household, they can uh, go through the various protocols of uh, research. And the other thing is because reading is very difficult, especially people who are little, uh, 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 not the age is a barrier, but they have other response. But reading at that uh, phase of life may be difficult. So this ensures a very clear explanation of all the concepts of research. And uh, other uh, 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 a good uh, uh, thing, a change which has come is the MCA has made this course mandatory. So everybody sh will be stimulated uh, and because it's mandatory, they are forced to go through this and but that's not really so difficult so this is a very great ach uh, achievement you uh, know by the uh, uh, mci and uh, uh, put together the national institute of epidemiology to uh, give a very clear understanding of research to the doctors at least in the uh, teaching field and it also gave an opportunity to all other doctors who are interested in research uh, i mean to pursue this research so no people do not really have to go through a phd or other complex courses with a simple understanding, uh, with a simple accessibility to this BCBR course, they can uh, have a probably a great, uh, build a great research ideas and probably our research in our uh, uh, Indian scenario will, is going to improve a lot probably if this goes on for years together. Yeah, I'm Dr. Sindhu Shivan. I'm a faculty at Patrician College Department of Social Work and uh, this, uh, continuously I'm taking these courses, I'm uh, attending exams. It's very useful for the career development also for the faculty and for students for the knowledge base and getting credits, more credits and university also insisting to take part in this type of exams and it's a very beneficial, it's very flexible and uh, convenient for students especially uh, so they will get additional knowledge in that. that. Through that assignments we can learn more and could be helpful for the exams. It will also a training for the ex uh, writing the exams. Those who are continuously taking care of the assignments, uh, it will be easy them to attend the exams also. It's a very beneficial thing and we are motivating our students to take part in these courses yeah, because it's out of syllabus and but they can learn more knowledge and uh, they will get, uh, it will help for the career. Uh, my name is Keshika and the exam was easy. I think the reading comprehension was comparatively easy than the uh, the fill in the blanks. The course was very useful. Thank you. I am Tripra Sundari, working in an engineering college. Actually, I belong to mathematics background. Uh, since I want to update my knowledge, I registered the course Introduction to Machine Learning. But I want to know the application of mathematics in this machine learning. 
but the lecture notes uh, lecture videos i think only 50% of it is being asked in the question but i used to regularly give my assignments submit my assignments even though i, w I was not satisfied uh, but it was really good i want to update my knowledge so i registered already have done two courses now i am i have applied for this thank you i am dr sarla prem kumar i am the actually working in sri ramchandra medical college it was an excellent session because i initially i uh, uh, registered mainly for the certification program whatever because we wanted to do but uh, uh, surprisingly there was so much information through the videos and the lectures it was really interesting and especially the exam was really good because most of the questions only i think less than 50% has come from the assignments but most of them are really a uh, little modified and interesting and very uh, Uh, informative and it was very useful one uh, thanks for the session thank you so much i am dr kali silvi professor of biochemistry sri balaji medical college i applied for the course for basic course in biomedical research so i felt very glad that so many questions were uh, that uh, so many questions were came from the syllabus they provided the feedback and the handouts and the, it was very very useful so i think it's very nice all of you should provide insight into the research methodology states in our growing area so every medical person apart from the management treatment they have to do research so it will be very helpful for everyone to do, attend this course and get benefited thank you my name is madhumita i'm uh, doing my m plan at uh, nit bhopal um this is an uh, additional course for credits um and um, it i attended uh, development and soft skills as my course and uh, overall it was good and uh, doing online course is quite comfortable actually it's fine thank you my name is niranjan i'm currently pursuing my electronics uh, and communication engineering actually my college insisted uh, us to like do this course for a credit tra transfer uh, because according to uh, credit based system we have to like complete one course through online so a uh, college student did this course actually like from the engineering perspective like doing this management course gave me some insight about the management perspective on engineering and other fields uh, it was pretty easy for me to like go through the online videos and do assignments and so on my own that's it uh, my name is sir santosh uh, i've opted for immunology course in nptel well uh, i've uh, the nptel course is from iit karakpur the uh, execution part as well as the assignment were like way beyond like my expectations so like i've discussed this with my professors and they like told like this is an immense uh, kind of or say opportunity and it will really help you in your career so i would also suggest you to take it thank you i am dr shubha and uh, i am a faculty uh, actually uh, when i started this it, i was very skeptical about how i am going to do that uh, but uh, the resource faculty were very very good in explaining uh, the courses and uh, the assignments also were helpful to give the exams actually this uh, we had already uh, been doing uh, research papers but uh, actually after going through this only we are aware of so many concepts which were very new to us and i think this will be very helpful in uh, future when we are doing our research paper uh, hello all i am balakrishnan so i have been uh, taking up online courses for the past 2 uh, years i have completed close to like uh, 12 courses so most of the courses which i have taken are uh, mainly useful for my research work as well as for exploring new domains of uh, interest which includes data science and artificial intelligence so for most of you who want to explore in these two areas and the classes are really good and uh, preferably try go uh, aspire for completing a domain certification as well all the assignments are uh, well crafted and all the uh, queries are been uh, report i mean uh, address uh, as an as early as possible by the tas as well instructors are also really good today i took up uh, Uh, practical uh, machine learning with tensorflow and as well as uh, introduction to machine learning by balram ravindran sir from iit madras the course was well structured and i thoroughly enjoyed it thank you hi uh, my name is dr s mohan kartikeyan uh, i am working as associate professor in karpur nagar institute of medical sciences so i come here for the course of basic course in biomedical research so the most of the questions were from assignments and it was very easy to go also so it was very interesting and challenging to put these assignments and to enter this exam thank you so much 
Hi, my name is Dr. Hari Prasad. Uh, the exam was a smooth process, taken care of what uh, of all the requirements, and it ensured a smooth process for the completion of examination. Thank you. So, I am here with Kevin. I am doing third year Sendhya Safle MBA. I am here to enroll in the NPTEL course. I am here to enroll in the NPTEL course. This is mandatory. மூ கோர்ஸ்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இது வந்து நம்ம இது பண்ணுறதுனால இது என்ன பெனிஃபிஷியல் சர்டிஃபிகேஷன் இது வந்து நம்ம அகாடமிக்ஸ்க்கு ரொம்ப யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்கும் அண்ட் இந்த எக்ஸாம் வந்து ரொம்ப ஒரு மாடரேட்டாக அந்த கொஸ்டின்ஸ்லாம் கேட்கப்பட்டது ரொம்ப மாடரேட்டாக ஈஸியாகவும் இருந்தது ஸோ தாராளமாக எல்லாம் அட்டன் பண்ணுற மாதிரி தான் இருந்தது கொஸ்டின் வெரி தாட்ஃபுல் அந்த எக்ஸாம் லாட் ஆஃப் நியூ மெடிக்கல்ஸ் அண்ட் தியரி குட் மிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் போத் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் த கோர்ஸ் வீடியோஸ் ஆல்சோ வெரி குட் வெரி இன்ஃபர்மேட்டிவ் ஸோ இஃப் யூ சீன் த வீடியோஸ் ப்ராப்ளி யூ கேன் ஆன்சர் த கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வெல் Uh, assignments were also very thinking we had to search around for solutions we had to search watch the videos once or twice to get the answers correct this examination is like an extra course which the college can't provide us and it's very useful for us and uh, for our career options and all and i'll further ma- make more courses in that in nbd yes. yeah uh, very easy and of course i followed every lecture and took notes of it and um and need some improvement like some creative questions should be included in this i am emmanuel i'm studying in triple it chennai uh, i took the course practical machine learning with tensor flow so overall the exam was almost same as the assignments we got i wouldn't say it was difficult but with proper preparation it is kind of easy it's not tough actually my college suggests to take nptel as a compulsory course for two semesters so i definitely suggest the assignments were helpful uh, it helped me to gain sufficient knowledge on that field like the courses are also like in variety so it is all according to my liking so everything is fine i'm dr anushya i'm working as an assistant professor in uh, madhya teresa women's university so this is my first examination and uh, uh, i think i have been uh, put a lot of time in preparing this but the question was quite easy if uh, um i would have uh, given some focus on to the assignments and the text materials and uh, during this uh, covid 19 this is very useful to study a lot and uh, i'm uh, much more interested in doing other uh, courses too and thanks to nepta my name is sarita i found this exam uh, extremely useful uh, so overall the questions were kind of tricky but at the same time it was answerable as well so if we are uh, someone who had uh, gone through every video lectures it would be easy to attend this exam so overall it was a good experience i am samruti i am from mysore um, the exam was pretty difficult i mean what we studied i mean the syllabus is a little difficult uh, but the time crunch is fine so yeah the assignments were pretty easy and uh, we could solve it on time there was enough time given for each assignment so yeah that part was pretty easy thank you I'm Abita. I'm from Coastlink Engineering College. So this course was introduced to me by my college. But this was really helpful to me. Like just a certificate course wouldn't help me that much. But this one um all the classes and the um, assignments and also the um, like practice test uh, they have given for the course I took tissue culture so that was very helpful for me and it also encourages me to study a lot about this thank you uh, my name is nitjeshri i am studying biomedical sciences so basically uh, today today's exam was about like the ecology and environment so it was not related to my course but still i wanted to know about more about the like environment and its efforts on the health so since i'm doing my medical profession i want to know more about uh, the health issues which are related to the environment which we are causing indirectly the assignments was really easy the lectures the lecture videos were very simple uh, my name is ganesh uh, i have enrolled in introduction to internet of things course uh, the course was very interesting uh, we watched all the 12 week videos and uh, a part of section was from assignment questions the exam was easy and also challenging when we see complete the lecture uh, and when we do assignments on our own it was challenging Um, my name is Venkat Ramanan and uh, I'm from uh, Roy Peta. I study in uh, RIT in Pothamalli. I'm doing my second year and uh, I like NPTEL courses. I did two courses uh, right now. Yesterday I completed my Python and today I did my embedded system. Both exams were good. Thank you. Uh, my name is Arivakarasan. So 
So I am a doctoral scholar now doing research in robotics. The exam is very well organized. Overall, I am happy with the schedule and uh, things which have happened here. Even though during this pandemic situation, it's very well organized. And about the examination, overall the structure is very well. So all the users are able to get their knowledge from their respective areas of operation very well. So all the best for NPTEL for scheduling more courses like this. Through web search, I have been knowing this for the last uh, seven, seven years from the inception, I know this. Where it started with NPTEL and now merged into FIM, giving all courses into many areas, including engineering, medicine and other fields as well. Now, assignments are highly relevant to the course. If you complete the assignments on time, you are getting more knowledgeable enough to attend the examinations. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm uh, studying Biomedical Engineering in Assistant College of Engineering, uh, second year. I'm currently doing my second year. I felt the exam was relatively easy for me. Uh, a lot of questions were from the assignments provided for us during the course. It wasn't easy to complete the... Uh, it, it did require a lot of reading through the books as well as watching the videos carefully. Uh, but uh, once we were able to answer it, it was useful. Thank you. I am uh, Dr. A. Madhivanan, uh, working as uh, Associate Professor in uh, SRM Institute of Science and Technology, Ramapuram campus. And uh, so I am uh, regularly attending this uh, NPTEL courses. And uh, this, this time also I am attending two courses. And as far as today's exam is concerned, and uh, it was a little bit easy for me. And uh, the courses were uh, as expected. And uh, no difficulty in uh, the examination. And uh, the course was conducted uh, excellently by the course coordinator. And uh, everything was taught uh, brilliantly. And the doubts were cleared uh, whenever we have uh, put up the doubts in the help, uh, help desk. And uh, really it was nice. And uh, expecting more from NPTEL. Yes, sir, assignments. Uh, uh, assignments were a uh, little bit uh, easier only for me and uh, it, it, it made us to learn more and more and really assignments were very, very good. And uh, our uh, Ramaburam campus of SRM Institute of Science and Technology is a local chapter and uh, therefore uh, we have a coordinator there and the coordinator frequently tells us about uh, the courses in NPTN and uh, requests us to register for the courses and uh, we are regularly doing this course. We are always uh, our head of department also insists us to do NPTEL courses and we also insist our students also to take up these courses regularly. Thank you. Vasu Devan. I am studying in Anna University. I have a course in Integrated Municipal Holidays Management. I am studying ME Environmental Engineering. So it is very good for me. Actually in the quarantine time it was very useful by studying some courses and uh, understanding it. Good afternoon, myself uh, Vijay Gita, working as assistant professor in uh, biotech department, Rajalakshmi Engineering College. Today I have attended the NPTEL uh, four weeks course, Plant Developmental Biology. It is of my own interest, uh, really I'll be doing this NPTEL because it added advantage uh, for my uh, research uh, potential expan expansion and it is giving uh, various um, field of research activities and all through this NPTEL learning process. I find it is very useful. So definitely I'll be doing yearly once I'll be doing one program for this NPTEL course. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sindhal Ram and uh, I'm working as a manager in a private concern. And uh, I'm pursuing my part-time PhD, just uh, joined uh, six months back. So I, I wanted to take this exam and I, uh, it had uh, been uh, 20 years of, uh, of experience. After that, I am taking uh, uh, the course. Uh, so the course, uh, on the course feedback, uh, the course is very good and it was really interesting. The video content uh, was very good. So the professor who was uh, taking the uh, uh, session is going, uh, has went uh, through in details and it was uh, uh, session by session. Uh, very particular on the details and it was very good and the assignment whatever uh, they have given is relative to the subject and uh, what the professor has uh, uh, detailed on the uh, video online call video and uh, really uh, after uh, tw uh, 20 years I am really enjoying studying uh, studying and preparing for exam and the exam also was uh, good and uh, yeah, it was really a little bit difficult after uh, such a long time uh, being facing an exam. Okay, it was uh, challenging and interesting. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah I'm Satish. Uh, I'm working in a private company. 
I came to know about this uh, MOOC course, uh, NPTEL and other thing through one FM program. So it's a little unfortunate that we don't know about such a good platform. It's not uh, shown in any TV or any other prominent channels. I came to know only through a FM radio. Then I started going through the website and I found it really interesting. In fact, uh, the government of India has given such a very good platform. I think all people, irrespective of the ages, who want to uh, improve their personal knowledge, career knowledge, experience, everything, definitely it's a very good platform. I enrolled myself for a couple of programs, one aligned to my job, another one on my personal choice. I am really enjoying it. And uh, I think assignments are really good. Uh, the only thing was uh, uh, an improvement I could suggest is uh, we can have little more interactive sessions. Uh, some online mock test like assignments is something that really tests our knowledge but if you can have a some sort of a site which can be created by NPTEL or whoever it is by creating a lot of mock test that will really make the people more prepared and more aligned towards this the success rate of this program lies in the mock test assignment is good uh, yes I agree little more interactiveness and then mock test will really give them to know where they stand and that really will give, will give them, make them more committed. I participated uh, in a couple of interactive sessions. It was good. What I am trying to say is the interactive session is good, but number of interactive sessions and then the, uh, the mock test will really help and the candidature will be better. That's my only. See, ultimately the objective is to improve the knowledge. Correct? So the objective has to be met in multiple channels. One is student level preparation. Uh, and then the other one is uh, we can have more mock test and more uh, tuning the how J N A U C J J E entrance exams and all lot of tuning is required conditioning that would really take this program to world level. I thank government of India for giving this opportunity, irrespective of the age, irrespective of the social status. I think it's a very good platform. Thank you. I am Dr. T R Vijay Ram. Uh, I am a metallurgist. Uh, really NPTEL exams are very good and uh, conducted very professionally and uh, the questions are actually very challenging and interesting. Uh, about, the, about the course, NPTEL course, uh, I did some courses on metallurgy. Um, so the courses, uh, the course content is actually very good. The video lectures are excellent and uh, the assignment, uh, assignment given is actually is very good. And uh, I, I would like to give you a suggestion, important suggestion actually. Uh, the, NPTEL program course video content can be uh, reduced, the time can be reduced because it is actually 30 minutes and above that. So that is actually somewhat. And um, um, another suggestion I would like to give is actually they can uh, provide more assignment papers uh, for uh, practicing. Every week uh, video lecture has got five numbers minimum so that time can be reduced actually. And you can give, send the video lecturing time and give more assignments for more practice. So that is my suggestion actually. Okay. And also they can introduce new courses. That is another important thing because uh, uh, now in this era actually we need to do some more advanced courses uh, as per the requirements by the industries actually. So that is the that factor to be considered. Okay. Thank you. I am Sister Annai Teresa uh, from St. Dan's College of Engineering and Technology. So I, I have written the exam uh, in power electronics. The question was a little bit uh, easy, but also tough. But I didn't prepare uh, that much well. So if I would have prepared well, I would have written well. But the question was easy only. So the course, the entire course, the conduction of the course was good. Uh, so keep it up. Thank you. I am a civil contractor. I am doing Sanskrit, uh, spoken Sanskrit course. It is very useful i just wanted to learn the language and they present the course very well to suit my requirements the assignments are very useful that that pattern only it came in the exam also so it is very quite useful and uh, uh, very interesting course i was introduced by my college uh, people about this nptel once i went through the courses uh, given there uh, certain titles you know really it was very attractive so I wanted to join that. Once I joined, actually previously I did the language literature and other courses, the culture. And the content was really, you know, awesome. Uh, so I, I feel like doing more courses. 
uh, I don't know whether I'll be doing all the exams due to time paucity, but still I'm interested listening to all the lectures, really pedantic it is. Thank you. Uh, my name is Shanmugavadi Vunadrajan. I'm from, uh, I'm actually working as assistant professor in Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Sri Perambudur. Uh, I think there should be a correlation between the assignment and the questions asked in the exams. Uh, so what I felt was, uh, and this is a good course actually, intellectual. So it should be, uh, it should be in a way that they should answer all the questions like that at least because they have got grading for this subject. So it may be made somewhat easier why difficult and also uh, it has not covered all the portions actually particularly pointed on one topic they have asked too many questions so it was quite difficult thank you my name is ganesh i'm coming from uh, camp road i think this is the very first time that i'm uh, enrolled for this examination i found it very very useful i am working in an industry so this course will definitely help to enhance my skills on the job whatever i am currently doing it so i found it very interesting the examination was uh, quite easy because if you have done the assignments quite well, I think the question paper is definitely easy. The assignments were very useful and some of the questions were tough, but I think uh, at some point of time, the professors were helping and the course TAs were helping. So we could be uh, able to get the answers and the clarity what we need. Yes, it was on time and the mail support was very good. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Abhishek and uh, I work for Renault Nissan. The exam was uh, quite easy, like if you follow the assignments. Yeah, it gave me an overview about the con like I took control system, so it gave me an overview, and it's quite good. I I would like to do some other courses in future as well. Oh, I'm Heshwari. Past two years I was writing the entire exam to explore some new uh, subject knowledge. Especially I was belonging to instrumentation and control engineering department. I'm expecting uh, a more number of uh, subjects in that uh, thing. Actually, we are coming under uh, electrical engineering. So I'm expecting more from Neptune to explore more subjects relevant to instrumentation and control. Uh, further, I'm going to do domain certificate also. All the discussion forum, all are very nice. For the past four years, uh, two years I was writing continuously eight semesters or four semesters. Yeah, thank you. So hello, uh, my name is Gaurav Kumar Mishra. Uh, I'm currently studying in uh, Satyavama and I'm pursuing my B degree there. So about this NPTEL exam, uh, it's a little bit tough. I have experienced some difficulties, but uh, I think I will pass this exam. And NPTEL is a great initiative. Actually, it's very beneficial for uh, students studying in uh, private uh, colleges. So yeah, it's a great initiative by our government. Assignments were uh, a little bit tough. Uh, I am Jay Venkateshan uh, from Sri Venkateswara College of Engineering. I am in fact I am the faculty member. So I am mentor for the student. That's why I appeared in the examination. So I appeared in the engineering thermodynamics okay, uh, NPTEL examination. Uh, the arrangement made here so it was uh, fantastic really because uh, we didn't face any problem even in reaching the hall or uh, uh, this uh, the precaution measures. So all those things uh, is really excellent. Uh, I appreciate the uh, this management. I don't know <laughs> this organization management. Uh, but thank you so much. Yeah, so I had taken my exam on decision making under uncertainty. So the exam was uh, a pretty lengthy one compared to the others, but uh, was not very difficult. The questions were almost similar to the ones which we got in the assignments and all of the concepts were discussed in the videos. In my case, I almost watched all the videos and submitted three out of four assignments. Uh, the assignments were not difficult either. It was like once you know the basic concepts of probability and statistics, it's much more easier. And I felt that this course will help me kind of develop passion towards this area of decision making and management sciences. That was the main motivation behind taking this course. And uh, moreover, I feel that uh, I would suggest anybody doing uh, B.Tech or uh, undergraduation in the area of uh, decision sciences or management to take up this course. Uh, I'm a housewife. I am writing this exam for my interest only, not for uh, anything else. Huh? I'm, I've written an intermediate uh, uh, level for a spoken Sanskrit. It's good today, easy only. I've uh, finished even before one and a half years. So sorry, one and a half hours. Thank you so much. I'm Vimalans. I did this NPTEL course to complete a credit in uh, my college. 
so i think uh, this this is like an extra thing to do in my career not like uh it may not be useful directly but i can uh, maybe if the recruiters may look at this these courses when i apply for any job or like anything like that i am professor of uh, structural engineering in bharat engineering college so i have been guiding lot of students in the aspects of uh, doing the phd projects as well as me mtech projects so i normally used to advise the students to take the courses because it enlight in the knowledge in general but i am concentrating on the area of structural engineering so the course what i attempted is the structural analysis so as far that, that is concerned it doesn't looks to be an uh, a questions which is an encouraging for the student it is more of discouraging and uh, not to get a marks that was the attitude of the exam that should be changed in olden days see in my days i have did my graduations maybe around 15 to 20 years back those days things have been done how can a student uh, cannot get a mark but now the how time has changed you now how you can give mark to the student that attitude is not in the nptel test but though it has been practiced all the universities that should be practiced in nptel also that is my contention thank you for asking me currently i am uh, i'm working uh, as assistant professor and uh, it actually helped me a lot even though i have um, uh, graduated in 2016 it's been like almost 4 years now but uh, um whatever i've studied then and whatever i'm studying now is uh, um you know it's like um, doing my post post graduation again <laughs> uh, it helped it helps me a lot because um, whatever we're studying in post graduation it is more than that uh, it helps a lot in many ways because we don't uh, just for 6 months uh, we are concentrating only on one subject here if what if that's what we need so we uh, we more you know it's like uh, we are more able to concentrate only on this one paper more detailedly so it is actually helping a lot in many ways we are able to actually understand the concepts even more deep because we are given so much space here um, and that is what i think is best because uh, and it will also be helpful for the students ug students because uh, as a teacher uh, as, as an assistant professor it's not easy to cover these much topics in the classes which we have so apart from whatever they are uh, given to learn or in the classes they can come home and do this so it will be easier for them to understand the concept in more detail so that is what i hello myself i am mohan rao uh, i am actually working uh, professional so i was knowing about this swayam portal and nptel courses actually i was trying to uh, enroll last semester itself but this i i was looking for this electric vehicle course which was only available this semester so the course was well organized in fact uh, professors were uh, they themselves were very up to date with the latest uh, uh, thing in the market and they could also bring in some industrial experts to Uh, have a conversation with the students in that way this course was uh, very unique as well as very informative i enriched myself in this course assignments are actually uh, they are very challenging in fact we had to do some good references for uh, us to complete the assignments thank you very much uh, myself is kala devi i am working as assistant professor in private engineering college i have chosen the course to improve my personal knowledge but i thought uh, i have chosen somewhat advanced course uh, i have to uh, complete first of all i will complete some previous course after uh, before that uh, s- s- before i have chosen the course but um, but i have gained knowledge and uh, what are the insights how to analyze the problem uh, these are all very useful for the current trend assignments also i feel tough only but i will try to solve thank you i am uh, dr vankateshwaran and i i am a retired for scientist worked uh, in department of atomic energy in baba tank research center just to keep abreast and uh, refresh my own knowledge i have appeared for this exam which is conducted by nptel is extremely good and uh, the questions were relatively as far as i am concerned 
they are not difficult you, so uh, it, 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 testing the understanding of the question it's uh, itself if you see the whole range the thing is um, uh, to uh, comprehension how you have comprehended and uh, how you are able to quickly think about and uh, answer so uh, we, i took a full 3 hours for uh, completing the question it's a nice uh, this thing they are conducting exams all uh, on all subjects uh, in a big uh, way they are conducting and uh, see if, if you are interested in uh, you know subject then this is a best avenue to so constantly be reading and then updating that is better otherwise you will forget assignments are extremely good you see assignments there is no time uh, uh, shortage see you are given about 2 week 10 days or so so you nicely you can think you can work out in exam it is not possible so 30 questions and uh, some 10 questions containing uh, some subdivisions so it comes to 3 4 minutes only for one question so you would can do calculation and verify and all but uh, unlike in assignment there you have a lot of time and uh, really you can understand and what they give the answers afterwards and uh, they tell you about uh, uh, the answer also described in a big way so it's really useful uh, i'm harini i'm doing ca right now so i wrote this exam just for an additional step to like to understand the details in depth mostly the assignments are based on what the uh, sir teaches sir or ma'am teaches so it's not something entirely out of the blue but it's very uh, understand once you understand what they taught it's very easy to do the assignments so since in this uh, quarantine time i was very free so i decided to do something and yes i wrote the exams i'm shruti i'm shruti i have completed b uh, 2017 um i'm from cac branch i'm interested in transport planning so i choose this course i am sharda ramani now i don't have any job except uh, doing counseling and giving homeopathy remedy to the people and be helpful to some humanity in some way or other and i was uh, the professor in my madras university for 10 10 and a half years before that i was the headmistress and principal of various schools my aim is to help people and to be with the people and to do something as long as you live that is my only aim so i have done so many courses but this course and here you know in new york uh, this thing is the best i find the way you teach the way you conduct the examination the way you treat the candidates the way you are helpful to everyone with such a humility which i have never found better than the foreign university i should say that was what i was telling all these people so i am very glad to be associated with you in this connection at least i should read some more uh, languages uh, so that i can be with you to all together and then i just suggested also you are all hard pressed for time and your brain is full of uh, technology and other work so you carry the business home also if you are all interested i can just get, teach you even relaxation technique and uh, not like meditation which takes a long lot of time within 10 minutes you can do and then clear of all your mind uh, and the whatever the what you call the kashayams in the mind you can just throw it out and then you can be that is the only request i just ask them also i'll tell you also if at all i will be of any use to you to in any way please call me i am there with you either as a mother or as a grandmother or so and so and so great grandmother sure. i don't mind who it is that is the only thing all the best and i have given a chit that should be that is the thing you know that can be circulated to me all that is come that came from the bottom of the heart not from the lips so the real feeling i had and uh, i feel like it is my own family understand 
so i will be with you thank you all priya i am a uh, assistant professor sir there are certain subjects no uh, which are very interesting but the time is uh, because of this pandemic situation i took up the course and i found really it was uh, no we can gain some knowledge apart from our regular um, curriculum we can uh, no we can up, uh, acquire knowledge in other subjects also assignments are good only sir it uh, no they give enough time they give videos and all and we can go through the videos and we can take up the assignment on our own schedule thank you uh, i'm from sri vasa and from spc i'm neeraj from spc uh it was pretty much expected the yeah. questions were almost like expected what we expected and what we studied there were few questions which are uh, not uh, what they regularly give earlier so it was, those weren't expected questions. yeah oh uh, it was from the video lectures yeah. only I'm Vishnu and I study in Assistant College of Engineering. I took a course in automation and manufacturing. It was pretty easy. Um I studied, I watched all the videos so it was pretty simple for me. Yeah, hi. Uh, this is Dr. Shivaraman. And now uh, basically I'm a scientist uh, and a research scholar and we are at uh, research and development wing of Satyabhama Institute of Science and Technology. And in a nutshell if you want to tell about this NPTEL examination, it's really each an individual uh, chapters has been explained by the mentors is simply stupendous it's an excellent manner and uh, being a researcher we were there in the field for a uh, uh, past 10 to 15 years but still the learning experience is something very amazing and it was really great and the examination was really very useful it's something like you know we are brushing ourselves uh, i hope like uh, uh, i am a scholar as a scholar i can tell about this and even uh, for students it's a great learning experience and you know uh, the questions and uh, the questions been asked in the examination is something like you know we need to think in deep about uh, the technicality which has been involved uh, i hope like those who have been summarized more on to the subject can easily able to pass on this examination and again great thanks for the government to take that initiatives and uh, thanks once again for uh, my mentor which has been at iit thank you once again i'm uh, shaul hamid uh, uh, working in new college as assistant professor i'm uh, i have just uh, tempted uh, to do this course uh, for the sake of even uh, uh, going for the higher cadder uh, hoping that it would help in fact in fact uh, it was a good uh, experience and uh, the arrangement uh, done here also really attracted me very nice Uh, even i was not permitted inside with a package okay i was just supposed to go out and i just had my uh, graf there outside and then I entered again very nice and with regard to the uh, arrangements of questions and uh, the type of quest i mean arrangement here uh, in the form of examination also it's so attractive very easy um, and i had uh, in fact uh, a question there uh, where there was no provision for opting for the uh, two uh, options uh, in section b in fact uh, uh, it was uh, felt there even in my uh, sub- submitting assignments also okay. uh, people have to select only all the above because you know it requires two answers but all these uh, uh, are right you know there is a provision it is compulsory to opt for that everyone okay. if they want to go for two answers so indirectly it helps in a way students to uh, opt for the right answer there is uh, no provision for two options uh, when we try to go tick for two it is not uh, i mean uh, giving the provision okay if, if, if i we touch uh, again another question uh, only one is uh, permitted which means i have to compulsorily go for all this it is indirectly a help uh, for the students but better uh, we can avoid you know uh, that's what i feel anyway but it was a good arrangement thank you very much uh, thank you sir thank you yeah my name is anusha i am from crompet and uh, this course was very fantastic and i'm doing my best in this course uh, i've learned uh, i've learned all many things in this course uh, and this course is very uh, useful to us so i'm just 17 years old so uh, like college students are very helpful to this course sorry how did you come to know about this course yeah my college uh, professor told me suggest me to do this so i have do, done this hi i am ashwin i am pursuing third year mechanical from sastra yeah the exam was easy the actually the choice i have question was pretty pretty easy so yeah the exam was simple as expected 
most of the questions were, some, for, for, were from the assignment so yeah it was pretty easy yeah obviously the co the course was uh, helpful for you know personal development as well so it was a good course yeah i had a good time thank you no problem so uh, i'm from chennai i'm studying at uh, srm university i had to take this course uh, due to an elective i had to choose an elective so i took this course uh, it's a pretty uh, good course the instructor was very good it is actually very useful because the uh, courses are very informative they do provide a lot of information so i think they are very useful uh, i'm gayatri from ishwar engineering college uh, i took a nptel course on soft skills it was very useful for me since it is uh, useful for my placement also and the course materials are also very useful and uh, this exam also i did well i am dr sundar pandian professor and head department of anatomy at srm medical college actually i came to know about the course recently of course i have registered for the course during covid so it was very interesting the very first time i registered for this all the courses are informative so it was interesting so the uh, exam also it was very nice i have prepared all the questions from the assignments as well as the topics and the reference given so it was very easy so even i may get 100 Hundred out of hundred. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm Anusuya. I'm in my final year of undergraduation engineering. Uh, I'm Hari Vishal. Final graduation same engineering. Uh, the exam was quite challenging and it was interesting. It was a new domain. I have always opted for core subject, but this was uh, slightly different. It was about entrepreneurship and it was very interesting. The assignments uh, are pretty easy, but if while uh, looking at the exam, you get to know you have to focus towards reading the question. to understand uh, and answer it properly so um it started through uh, college uh, but this is my fourth nptel exam and um, uh, i also received an internship through nptel so this has been uh, quite beneficial to me yeah i am dr subalakshmi yeah this is my second course with nptel i have uh, joined for this biomedical research course it's very good actually the speakers uh, they teach very well even the assignments are very good Uh, it's an excellent course uh, my name is sujit and uh, overall experience was good and the nptel courses are very good and it helped me related to my project and uh, and assignments were also uh, actually good only and i think they can improve in their teaching part if i think uh, overall it's a good course my name is uh, khalid wahid uh, i am from the kishan institute of science and technology so i have taken total 5 courses so what i found here i have studied all the materials but the question was not for the materials or money from the economics all were applications other thing has been which has not been taught either in the video or in the materials suggested material it was not there or or overall it was very good experience especially the one course eh, enhancing soft skill and uh, 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 something else i do uh, so that that course was very good and uh, the question was uh, taken from the uh, my study material and videos it was very useful course and i have learned a lot from that and as for the soft skill and other courses are there question was very tough and uh, normally they put question according to home they mention the name this theory so that is very difficult to remember and memorize for a person especially for young people it is very easy but for the older people it is very difficult to use the to remember the name such kind of question is not going to give us any learning to us according to home what is good what is okay But anyway it was a, uh, it was a uh, good learning experience and uh, for the last uh, two weeks uh, i have worked very hard and i can hardly uh, sleep uh, uh, even for 5 hours or 6 hours uh, so it was very good one more point was that uh, he, yeah in one day i have uh, two exam and that was very difficult uh, uh, for us to just cope up with the exam because uh, in one day uh, it is very hard to uh, for us to complete uh, to prepare the, for the exam as well as, uh, as as well as to attempt the exam it also happened with us and because of that reason because all five courses were arranged only this uh, during these three or four days thank you very much i am dr ganesh uh, currently working as associate professor in zoro medical college in mizoram uh, nptel i did this um, basic course in biomedical research actually uh, that's a very uh, good course actually now it's mandatory for the promotion for the medical uh, faculties so all the lectures were very good and also the lecture handouts so we had enough time in uh, 
in completing the online module so it's conducted in two two uh, parts like first one is the online second one is the prop uh, proctored uh, written exam so it was a wonderful experience and the teachers were very good and the lectures were very good and it was very useful and uh, it was a very good learning process actually i think i hope i clear this exam okay yeah assignments are very useful it's very useful and uh, even though i am i am from already from the community medicine background and the public health background so it was a kind of revision for me and uh, it was a nice course and it was a kind of revision and uh, we uh, uh, especially i learned a lot out of this course i feel uh, this kind of course is needed and uh, it should be uh, repeated maybe for example once in a five years or six years time it should be repeated so that the the medical faculty will get uh, updated in their knowledge thank you uh, i am professor peter chandran uh, npetel course i have done uh, building materials and composites and uh, concrete technology both the courses are good useful for teaching students effectively uh, assignments some of the questions uh, from assignment uh, appeared in the examination but but not all the assignment questions comparatively the courses are good for uh, uh, teaching and also for uh, teaching the students hi uh, this is anita this is the first time i am doing a course in nptel actually uh, i did the course developing soft skills and personality it was taken by uh, sir ravi chandran so it was actually very uh, amazing and uh, i understood lot of things uh, even in the online mode basically during lockdown this was a very good opportunity so that we can do something sitting at home basically and uh, all the information which they gave was uh, easy and there were lot of live examples so that we can understand it very easily and uh, adding to it uh, the assignments really helped us a lot because the questions were a uh, little bit similar to that and it was interesting also to attend the concepts related questions so uh, by my side it was very useful for us and uh, i actually i don't know this it was been for years actually i came to know recently only i joined the course so i i'm continuing for the next semester also i'm taking up another course for the next year but i would like to give a suggestion like uh, many people didn't know about this so i would like to make this as a marketing or you can do it in any other way like how it could reach most of the people because i saw some courses right from the school level uh, many be many uh, are not able to afford for education also right as india is under poverty level we can make use of this for many of them to get educated basically at is at least to some extent thank you so much uh, my name is vishnu and uh, I was asked to do this course by from my college, and uh, to be honest, it was interesting. Right now, I couldn't find time to uh, study from the first, but I st I managed in the last ten days. It was actually very interesting. Assignments were pretty useful for exam preparation. Yeah, exam was easy and cha and interesting. I am G Lata Selvi, uh, associate professor of from Saint Joseph Engineering College, Department of IT. Uh, really, this NPTEL gives us. Uh, Uh, new view for our uh, new subjects which we are choosing it so it's really a way in which uh, the iit professors taking the lectures are very excellent we are able to study the latest uh, technology through that and uh, we also have some practical exposure which uh, i wrote is iot they also gave some practical exposure from that and what uh, it was really helpful for us to install it and work over that in latest technology thank you uh, hi i am dr sharanya i am assistant professor in microbiology from uh, balaji medical college so initially uh, when we started this actually registered around march in cycle 2 so it was we, we were quite apprehensive about this course uh, but later on when we went through this uh, uh, study materials and uh, though it was Uh, tough in the beginning since once we uh, go through again and again it became uh, clear and the concepts became clear and uh, it is it it, it is uh, quite useful actually uh, since being in this medical field you know research has become mandatory nowadays and it improves our knowledge too 
so uh, so it was a nice experience actually the, all the classes as well as uh, uh, as you can see our outcome in exams also i think we did it quite well also so uh, great going assignments were quite useful uh, and it was uh, what to say uh, it was like a mental inquisitive Uh, NPTEL is uh, very useful for uh, post graduates, uh, especially for uh, uh, giving uh, uh, like uh, understanding about uh, research methodologies. So it's a very good uh, initiative taken by government. I think uh, the question found to be very tough. I think. Dr. Uma Maheshwari, like I did the course on developing soft skills and uh, personality. Uh, like it was a wonderful course actually i like to do it so i got enrolled it and uh, seeing the way the class is being taken i just thought i'll write the exam also actually as of now i'm planning to get into soft skills as uh, like uh, what to say my career itself the course was taken wonderfully and the exam also was good fine assignments yeah assignments were good like only if you go through the videos you are able to do the assignments right so assignments were good uh like the assignments made us understand the concepts also better so assignments were good and you have multiple uh, choices i mean uh, in mcq part you have more than one answer as correct for a few i mean uh, set of questions uh, even that was good like it is good actually like instead of the monotonous only one single answer as the right answer having multiple uh, right answers also make you think a lot discussion forum were good it, it, it doubts and all were clarified all those were good overall the course was good thank you yeah i'm uh, dr nehla ana isak and uh, i have done this course for my uh, certification for the promotion so i feel the course was quite good the videos uh, were very uh, well explained by the course coordinators and the assignments also were uh, quite comprehensive so about the examination um, I think many of the questions were from the assignments or were mentioned in the videos so it was um, uh, you know it was quite easy because of the videos and the assignments there were few tricky questions but uh, I think be- because they have taken it quite well I think um, you know most of us would have done quite well thank you um my name is Trisha and uh, MTL was a very good course it really helped me to you know like my domain is aerospace engineering and i have taken course uh, introduction to aerospace and that really helped me out uh, and i'm right now in my first year in college and i've done all my assignments and uh, the exam were also like uh, it most of the questions were asked from the assignments so like overall it was a good experience on uh, this was the first time i'm appearing for this exam it was uh, i had initially some uh, doubts i was uh, reservations about how the exam would be it was very well organized and uh, nicely conducted it was easy and user friendly it was a nice experience thank you so much so my name is har jagdish uh, mptel exam is very nice it's a very useful to the uh, society of the student society as well as staffs the assignments are very useful all the videos are very nice and then we have to practice more then only you can get very good marks otherwise uh, it will be very difficult okay that's all. i am dr shamila a professor of anatomy from sr medical college uh, so i took the 10 ptel online course examination for basic biomedical research i underwent all the videos of 23 module which is very very nice and very good it is really crisp and clear all the study materials which was given was very useful and we completed the 23 modules with that internal assessment uh, by myself and it was really good and it will be very useful for my career progress also looking forward for many courses from nptel thank you uh, i am krish revant uh, it uh, actually depends on the course though because uh, i had taken two courses in that uh, the current one which i wrote was uh, for uh, dl for cv in that they were really nice because they were responding frequently to the questions asked but in the other course which i had taken there was like no ts involved or there wasn't like much interaction i am dr mala from chengalpattu medical college i came to know about this uh, recently only so i had to now nowadays uh, present generation is very much aware about all this uh, 
ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಆ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಪಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಅಪಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೌನ್ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡೆಡ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಪುವರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ not very comprehensible very very poor english that's what i understood so i had to listen to the videos then i had to refer uh, whatever references were given so with that i could yeah i am inr i am uh, doing i am basically i am working in a project company i am i am executing a project so this course was uh, i am just now i have completed my project management co- uh, exam is very much useful to me Assign- yeah, assignment is, very, is a re- really helpful in uh, attending exams. My name is Ramachandra Reddy. I am working as assistant professor from past 10 years in St. Joseph College of Engineering. Uh, due to these NPTEL courses, I can able to improve my knowledge. The same thing I can able to share with my students. So recently, I take uh, network analysis, basic electrical circuits as well as control engineering. So the way uh, your teaching is very helpful. and the assignments what you are giving uh, it is always uh, very challenging at the same time it is more helpful for us if you are following your lectures in clean manner and the facilities you provided and the all the required things is very good manner i thank to all the coordinators and supporting staff uh, to make this learning so happy for to us okay till now i take eight courses in nptel so i would like to continue the same in future also i would like to recommend my students also to take nptel courses thank you so much hi uh, this vignita dr vignita second year pg um this exam uh, let us know that how we have to go on for thesis it was uh, first when we did on the basics it was first we didn't know what was going on only but when we studied in depth we could know all the vocabularies Uh, which uh, which is going to be helpful for our research thank you nptel courses helped me to explore various domains apart from my uh, particular specialization and also it keeps me on my toes to find about the recent research trends and also it helps me um, improve my basics especially in uh, mathematics and related domains yeah sure thing uh, the assignments like um, have us work every week uh, because in my case it's like without a deadline i wouldn't be uh, working so yes af- assignments is definitely helpful and uh, my course particularly had uh, programming assignment and sort of that so yes it was really useful to get hands on training such kind of experience is like uh, in my particular case it's not there even in my college syllabus um in even though in that particular domain even uh, in masters or even in post graduate uh, such kind of exposure is like quite limited and the course which i have chosen for this uh, particular semester that is uh, july to december it's like um, it's new newly run course it's not a redone course so yes it's definitely an eye opener yeah sure thing i have recommended uh, this course to many of my colleagues and they are very eager to join this the next semester